Whew. All right, well, welcome back. It's been a hot minute. I've been busy at the new shop coming from you at Gold Star Tattoo in Madras, Oregon. So pretty sweet, awesome crew. I couldn't be happier. I actually got my first tattoo machine for free to review for you guys. Pretty cool. So Evotech Pro from Easy Tattoo Supply. They now have a US-based location, so you get easier shipping. I think it's uh, free shipping, anything over 99 bucks. But we're gonna dive into that a little bit later. So again, um, even if I get the machine for free, which is freaking cool, right? But uh, I'm still gonna have a non-biased review on it. I always looking for a direct drive. Is it easily cleanable? Of course, you know, it's wireless. Um, can you adjust the cam on it? You know, those kind of things. So those are important to me. We'll see how it holds up. And then we'll dive into a demonstration of me doing a couple of little tattoos with it. And at the end, I'm gonna wrap it up. So please watch to the end. I got a special little thing there for y'all. If you're interested in buying this guy, check it out. And uh, let's head to the demonstration. So it's a 3.5 millimeter stroke, non-adjustable tattoo machine, which normally I don't, like having a machine where I can't play around with the stroke. But for me, what it really comes down to is you can run the machine faster or slower based on your volts, obviously, and you know, typically adjusting your hand speed accordingly. But with the setting, I guess I'll call it, you can change it from one to 10, you know, on the display on there that actually does show the time you've been tattooing, battery life, and then the C modes, voltage and Hertz as well. Normally I like to run off Hertz, but with this one, it's a little different. So. You can run it up you know, higher, like I ran it on nine or 10 to do lining. I don't normally like lining at that voltage, but with the C setting, I was able to set it down to uh, like C5, C6, and adjust it based on my client's skin. So that was pretty cool actually. And then with shading and blending, color blending, it worked like a champ. I mean, the machine's super quiet, super lightweight, uh, but I didn't have any issues with that, so. Some of the positive things I loved about it, super lightweight, made of uh, air plated grit. Some of the things I liked about it. Okay, so some of the things I liked about it was the air, aircraft grade aluminum. Aircraft grade aluminum, I can just not say that right. It comes with a 32 millimeter and a 40 millimeter grip. I prefer the 40 millimeter grip. It's just easier to hold on to. And with that, it was balanced well in the hand. I didn't find myself getting my hand fatigue at all really kind of felt like it was tipping into the work. So I like that. The display is nice. However, uh, when I bag it, it's kind of harder to see that C setting in there. So you might have to kind of play around with it. Uh, but I mean, yeah, super lightweight, easy to use, charges well. Um, and it did real clean lines. Uh, it didn't, didn't cause really much trauma to the skin, which was pretty cool. Obviously, you want to have the least amount of trauma as possible with your client's skin so that, you know, you're not hurting them. And plus, your artwork, the tattoo survives, right? And heals well and looks well over time. Okay, so some of my final thoughts. Is it a brushless motor? Yeah, it's easy, customizable brushless motor. External brushless motor, I think is what it said. It ran smooth. It's super quiet. Machine super lightweight. So that's a, uh, a plus. Obviously, it's wireless. has a 2,000 milliamp battery, which they say will last five to seven hours. I think that's easily possible. I've tattooed with it for a couple hours solid on some little ones and the battery uh, and the battery didn't even really drain. So I feel like that is possible, probably depending on the settings they're using, obviously. So it could be different for everyone. As far as easily cleanable, it is to a point. So you can take the grip off. Great, right? Like all of them or most of them. Uh, clean inside there. When it comes to the transmission area, you can't get inside there without voiding the warranty. So definitely don't take the screws out and look in there and see what's in there and mess around with it at all. Cause it sounds like that would definitely void the warranty. So with that said, I couldn't really tell if it was a direct drive or a swash plate. I'm assuming it's gonna be a swash plate in there. I didn't 
see that on their website either. There's one tattoo machine though that does use a really tiny um, armature bar. Either way, it was able to push 14 round liners, no problem. Did shading, color packing, didn't really have an issue with any of that. So other than that, I guess, you know, would I recommend it for a first timer or somebody looking to add another tattoo machine to their, their collection or supply or, you know, whatever you want to call it, your toolbox. I think for the 200, so it's 239 bucks, 240 bucks. They now do free shipping off anything over $99 and they have a US location. So I think it gives you about three day shipping and there's no tariffs or anything like that. Of course, mine came from overseas and it took about 10 days. So having that US based location is going to be nice. Like you or me, we don't want to wait forever for our stuff. And then having that lower free shipping, I mean, you get me with free shipping, right? So anything over 99 bucks, free shipping. It's like a win-win, right? And then if you do purchase a tattoo machine right now, they're still doing their July 25th promotion, which gives you an extra six months warranty on the machine. So with their warranty, it looks like it will they'll replace the battery if they can't service it, um, as long as you haven't damaged the machine. So of course, voiding the warranty would be like chucking it across the room, using it a dartboard. Don't do that kind of stuff. Don't take it apart. Don't intentionally mess it up. And you should be good with, uh, you know, kind of warranty repairs on it. Oh yeah, and something super important, uh, like everybody's using fast chargers now. Don't use a fast charger on this. They say that that can damage it and void the warranty. I know it's only like a $240 machine, but still, you know, just plug it in. No big deal. It'd be fine. And then, so yeah, I think I would recommend at least trying it out. It's a nice tattoo machine. It kind of looks like a lightsaber, not going to lie. I got the chrome one, which you've seen in the footage. But I haven't been disappointed with it yet. And that's pretty nice for a machine that's, you know, 10 times cheaper than the other one that I use that has similar functionality with being able to, uh, being able to adjust how the motor works. I, I couldn't say it would be a bad choice. So check out the discount code in the comments below. You get 10% off. So do that. I do get a little you know, small kickback if you do purchase it, but I wouldn't be reviewing a tattoo machine if I hated it or it sucked or I mean I probably just send it back like if they want if I tried it out and it was trash yeah I think it's worth checking out definitely take a look easy tattoo supply there links in the bottom go check them out and if you have any questions comments or personal experience with the tattoo machine please let me know shoot it down in the comments shoot me a question email whatever check me out on instagram message me there even if you want so again coming from madras oregon gold star tattoo thanks for watching oh yeah one more thing i did design my own merch so there's a link for that in there too so check that out